I think winter fishing has got difficult in recent years because a lot of people have been using the wrong kind of food. Whilst fish meals are brilliant in the summer and the fish need them to grow because they've got loads of protein in them, scientific studies have shown that in the winter time, fish do not need the same amount of protein and will actually select higher carbohydrate foods rather than higher protein foods. And once I learned that, I did some tests in my tank at home. And I found that even on the gloomiest, most horrible, dank winter days, the fish would still eat sweet corn with gusto. So that forms the major part of my mix in the winter. If I can fish it and there are no nuisances around, as they are here all over the complex of Norton Disney, then I will use sweet corn. It forms about 50% of my mix. And I make sure that when I open the tin up, I only use tinned because I think it tastes better. I never use the frozen stuff. When I open up one of the bulk tins, I will always pour the juice into the other bits of my mix, which will absorb the juice into them. So rather than just wasting it and it just ending up out in the water in the water column, it gets soaked into the boily, soaked into the flake maze, ends up on the bottom and just keeps that feeding going longer. And I also just put a little bit of salt onto that corn. I've got some rock salt. I just crush it up in the crusher, not loads, but just enough to enhance the flavour. And you can smell that coming out of there now. That is the final mix. You can smell the corn coming through out of that. Now, the other 50% of the mix in this situation is a mixture of crumb boilie and flake maize. Now, both of those, if you choose the right boilie in the winter, I've got cell, it's really digestible, really water soluble, the same as essential cell. You'll catch it all the way through the winter time. So rather than using something that's glugged up with oil and is very, very high in protein, it's better to swap onto a bait like that. They're year round boilies, but they are particularly good in the winter time. So I've got some crushed up cell and some flake maize. Now on its own, flake maize just looks like cornflakes. It doesn't really smell of a lot. Seems really sort of inert. I've fed fish in my fish tank over the course of the winter, the flake maize, just put it in dry and they absolutely love it. Now with the sweet corn, they're straight onto it, immediate response, they've eaten the whole lot within an hour. Flake maize, they start eating it straight away but because there's loads of little tiny items in it, it might take them four or five hours to find every single bit of flake maize in my tank. So if you mix sweet corn and flake maize together, you get an immediate response and you get long-term feeding. So the flake maize and the crumb boilie go together. All the liquids that I've got, I've got hemp in the mix as well. So the hemp juice goes into that because the flake maize soaks liquid up like nothing else I've ever used. So it's all going in there. And you imagine once it's hit the bottom, it's all flooding back out of it. Then I'll put the smart liquid on. And this is another thing that is a key part of my fishing all the time. You might think it's gimmicky. I didn't use it for a year when I was first giving it, thinking the same sort of thing and then I tried it in the tank and the response was unbelievable. The fish initially backed off because it was a big cloud. Once they started feeding, all eight of them were in the tank, all noses together, going crazy on the flake maze that had the smart liquid soaked into it. So the last thing in there is hemp. Now fish absolutely love hemp. It goes straight through them as well. It's got a crunch to it. People might think, oh, in the winter time, is it worth using hemp? Absolutely it is. That always forms part of my mix. And you imagine all them little grains out there, it just keeps the fish feeding that little bit longer. And the juice from the hemp is a brilliant thing to put in the whole mix. And it's a great way of thinning down the smart liquid because it does come out a bit thick. And then that will soak into all those really porous ingredients. So that is the mix. Obviously you need to change the amount that you put in depending on the fishing situation. Here there's a lot of fish, so I'm getting away with a lot of bait. In circumstances where I'm not expecting loads of bites, I might only put eight or nine spods in. You know, I've done that a couple of winters ago, left all three rods fishing over the top of it, not recast after a bite, and got three really nice fish in an afternoon, you know, by not putting bait back out in the swim, not recasting. So if you're fishing for less fish, you know, and they're harder to catch, you're using less bait. On places like this where there's a lot of fish, I am getting away with a lot more bait. And even in the depths of winter, I know the leaves are still on the trees and it's not fully winter yet, but I, even in the depths of winter, I'll use exactly the same mix and I'll just use less of it. But come away from protein, come away from fat, lots of carbohydrate, and it'll keep the bites coming.